this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner and this is your energetic reading for Tuesday, February 9th. And today the moon moves into Pisces and the moon when it moves into Pisces will be conjunct with Neptune and Pisces all day. So this is a beautiful energy day for all of you intuitives. We love positive energy in a, a good old fashioned Piscean energy. So this is water energy, I think, at its highest, at its lightest, at its most energetic form that aligns us with hopeful white light energy. I think if we had a lot of alignments in Scorpio energy, we're aligning ourselves with the shadow energy, the dark side of water energy, which, believe me, are helpful because... You know, just looking at the light side of energy, the white light side of energy can make us some sort, you know, idealistic and we don't see the shadows. And so then we get reality checks later on to help us see that shadow side of energy. But this is very white light, very healing, very pure energy as far as I'm concerned. It's very positive energy. It's not so much that that energy that allows us to, it's not about following our passion as much as that gut instinct, that inner voice, that belief and faith and hope and that there is something going to manifest that's different from our current reality. And I love this energy being an intuitive, it's beautiful when I tap into just this pure energy. So there's a strong connection today with earth energy and intuitive energy. You're going to find peace today for those that appreciate what they have and are looking at the big picture. So this is about idealizing your current status, right? This is, this is about looking at well, if I'm not in the if I'm not driving the best car, well, you know what? I want to win the lottery and if I do, I'm going to buy that black Lexus. This is my favorite fantasy cuz I love black Lexus. Um those little I don't know what exactly one it is, but it's like I it's it's you know, it's just like those little forerunner type ones. So, I always ideal that's what I idealize. Or I idealize buying my sailboat and traveling everywhere and taking you guys and you know, I'm doing my channel all over the world. You know, like um, and inspiring you and taking you to energetically high places where I get a really good buzz for you guys to feed off of. Um, so it's that kind of energy. And I love this energy um, as I have a little bit of Piscean in me. It's just beautiful. Um, there is a fierce desire to contemplate all the details that are needed to achieve your goals. But you're looking at this on the idealistic side. I want to be clear <laughs> because you know what? We're creating hope. We're festering hope, festering desire. We're festering an ideal outcome. And sometimes that's what we need to get where we want to need, what we, where we need to go is that like hopeful mindset, that momentum that creates us wanting to move towards something. This is very introspective energy for those that follow the intuition. So this is about as your intuition guides you, it opens your eyes and it answers questions. Now, all these questions are not going to be that they're not going to they're not going to always see the, the absolute beautiful side of it. But then you it doesn't matter because say you see a shadow in your intuitive side of things and you're like, I want to go this way, but my intuition tells me not to. You're still going to idealize whatever you're moving toward in this type of energy. Um, for those that enjoy the competitive side of this goal-oriented energy, there's a this is a powerful day. Intuition aligns you with your next move. And I think that's super important to understand. Some of you are asking for guidance and clar clarification. You're looking for messages from the universe. We have all of this Aquarian energy in our sun. We've got Mercury in Aquarius. We're thinking about the next step. We're thinking, we're thinking about that dream, that fantasy. We're, we're caught in very creative energy. And as we're doing that, that allows us to really process this hopeful type mindset. So, um, Mars at this point is sextiling Venus, sextiling Mercury, sextiling Pluto, sextiling Jupiter, and sextiling the North Node. So you can understand that if you're caught in the high vibration of energy, what you're doing is you're looking at the knowledge that you have, 
You're looking at your intuition as your guide, and you're looking at your past as you're moving away from it, and you're looking at your future as something you want to move toward. And so this creates a this creates that overall desire to want to progress your life, progressive mindset. I think you're comfortable in the fact that you have the knowledge to move forward. I think um, that you're moving away from the dark sides of contemplating this type of energy, and that's creating that hopeful, glorious, everything is going to be beautiful in this energy, even if in the past it never was. Um, negative vibration, for some of us that aren't caught in this high vibration of energy, is that... You know, Uranus is still squaring off with Mercury and squaring off with Venus and squaring off with Pluto. And the Sun in Aquarius is quincunxing Mars and quincunxing Jupiter. So I want to acknowledge the darker side of energy for all of you, for all of you that aren't intuitive and you're really working through and processing this the, the energies that are really creating challenge in your life. Uh, for those of you that are patient and want results right now, you may make this may make you extremely confrontational. You're done. You see the idyllic side of life. You are attaching yourself to future outcomes. But as you're doing that, there's a feeling of inadequacy and just a feeling that you want it now. Why should you wait anymore? You know, you've been patient. Some of you have been extremely patient. And so there's that need to want that at this exact moment. Um, Jupiter may expand this mental instability. So beware that if you are working in this vibration. When Jupiter is, is in a quincunx with your sun, what this is doing is it is really creating a lot of darkness in your life because it's quincunxing Mars as well. So like the sun is quincunxing Mars and Jupiter. This is about the darker sides of psychology. Uh, this is about desiring what you want and you can't have and about moving forward. And you're, you're dealing with mental instability. You're dealing with the need. You're sick and tired. It's like everything you touch, you never get what you want. It's about, you know, every time you put faith in something, there's always some dark thing that you didn't consider, or there's always some hidden thing, or there's always some secret that comes out. There's, it's just discouraging, but this is all just to push your boundaries. I think what this is doing is for some of you that are codependents, some of you, some of you that really rely on relationships to define you, I think what's happening with those people is it's individualizing yourself. It's making you stand tall. It's making you be resourceful on your own. It's pushing you away from certain people, certain mindsets, collective thinking. If you're investing in, you know, a manager's opinion of you and then they, somebody turned around and stabbed you in the back and it took away that potential at your work, like all of that stuff is coming from negative sources, but I, I think it's pushing you away from possibly some sort of mindset that you were never actually destined to go towards. So anytime you get obstacles, limitation, stop signs, it's because you're going in the wrong direction. And that's all you need to, that's all you need to do is acknowledge that side of it. Um, create, um, so be aware that if you're working in this vibration, this could create an absolute supernova in your life. And I, I, you know, I looked up the definition of a supernova, and it's just a gorgeous definition. I loved what it had to say. So catastrophe will follow this energy as you become. There's always a dark side of intuitive thinking. Um, no matter how positive this is. Um, there's two types of Scorpio energy in today. There's that positive, optimistic, the depths of your soul is being fulfilled. You know, you're willing to explore the depths and through that project out the future of like what you deeply want and desire. You're aligning yourself with that. And then there's the dark side of Scorpio energy in this that it's expanding psychological insecurities, deficiencies, that it's, you know, you're, you're fierce, you're competitive, you want it now, somebody else took something from you, you need to get it back, there's a stinger mentality that comes out in this, 
Um, there's the fire-based, you know, retaliatory, unpredictable, volatile side of it. Impatience is possible in this energy. Um, this can be very catastrophic in people's lives as they're dealing with the reality of where they may have idealized outcomes that they had not fully anticipated would result in where they're at right now. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. And that's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.